फ्रेंड टूडे टॉपिक इज इम्रॉनिक डेवलपमेंट सो इन लास्ट क्लास और प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द अर्ली इम्रॉनिक डेवलपमेंट सो अर्ली इम्रॉनिक डेवलपमेंट वे आर द डिविजन टेक्स प्लेस इन जायगो सो डिविजन इन जायगो इज कॉल्ड क्लीवेज सो क्लीवेज विच प्रोड्यूस द मेनी सेल दैट सेल इज कॉल्ड ब्लास्टो मेयर्स एंड ब्लास्टो मेयर्स फॉर्म ए बॉल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर मरवली बॉल इज कॉल्ड मोरला दैन इट turn into single layer blastula and then the we form blastocyst so and blastocyst last we discuss blastocyst how the blastocyst look like and blastocyst embedded to the endometrium of uterus to form uh, and the process called implantation and it connect with the uterus and sink deep to the uterus so we have already discuss and Uh, studied the blastocyst which embedded in uterus now what the changes takes place in blastocyst so now the blastocyst convert into gastrula convert into that process is called gastrulation so gastrulation is nothing it is just a morphogenetic movement of the of the blastocyst or blastula 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 to form the germ layer and and also give the shape of the embryo so here the blasto blastula which form the blasto disc Bla a disc like a structure blasto disc is nothing it is just a disc like blastocyst is nothing it is a disc like a structure get elongated and form the germ layer there are three germ layer form ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm so this is the process of gastrulation so gas in gastrulation single layer convert into uh, double layer double layer so how the single layer so here is the structure of the blastocyst so blastocyst contain two part trophoblast outer layer trophoblast cells so here is the trophoblast and the inner cell mass here the cells are a bunch of the cells is present so now the changes takes place in the inner cells mass so now we concentrate on now we concentrate and on inner cell mass so the, here is the inner cell so inner cell mass differentiate to produce two types of uh, layer cells two layer two type two type layer cells so first is epiblast and hypoblast so so here is the hypoblast uh, epiblast cell which is, which is cuboidal in shape and the hypoblast cell is columnar in shape so this is the hypoblast and ap ap blast so ye dif so differentiation of the uh, uh, high, uh, differentiation of cha differentiation in inner cell mass to produce hypoblast and ap blast so this is the so ap blast few, uh, then lead to form ectoderm and hypoblast to produce endoderm layer so now we change what the changes occurs in ap blast and hypoblast so here the here the ap blast cells and or here this one is hypoblast cells so in between ap blast and trophoblast cells so near to the trophoblast cells a cells is present that cell is called amni amniogenic cell amniogenic cell amni amniogenic cells so this is the amniogenic cells or in between amniogenic cells and ap blast cells if cavity is formed so here is the cavity of the you see here so cavity or space is formed so this cavity or space is called amniotic cavity so already amniotic cavity is formed then what have what further change in amniotic cavity so amniotic cavity get enlarged get enlarged or which is surround by the membrane that membrane is called amniotic membrane and now the hypoblast cell which further lead into a form yolk sac yolk sac so how the yolk sac form this is the hypoblast layer this is the hypoblast layer you see here so hypoblast get elongated throughout the inner surface of trophoblast to form the endodermal cells of yolk is form the endodermal cells of yolk it just form inner to the trophoblast layer so the now 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 come to the trophoblast what how trophoblast develop so trophoblast 
is the outermost layer. Here is the trophoblast. You see here, trophoblast. Trophoblast developed into extra embryonic membrane. So there are two membrane, two layer membrane, outer and inner. Outer layer is called somatopleuric, and inner layer is called splanchic pleury. Somatopleuric membrane further develop or produce chorion layer, and splanchic pleuric membrane leads to produce allen twice. So up. So you can see the how the layer which produce the extra embryonic membrane. So here is the extra embryonic membrane. So first is chorion, second amnion, third one allantois, and fourth and last yolk sac, which is further degenerate at the seven to eight weeks because development of placenta takes place. So now how the placenta takes place? So now we see the placenta. So here is the placenta. So what is the role of the placenta? So placenta control the whole physiology of fetus. It control whole physiology of fetus. It control the. It provide nutrition. It provide gases, oxygen to the fetus. Help with the gases exchange. It provide many uh, antibodies to the fetus. So one of the antibody antibody IgG which goes to the fetus through placenta. So these are the function. So how the placenta form? This. So we can see here. So this is the uterus. This is the uterus. This is the uterus. Or this is the uterus. The inner lining of uterus is called. Inner lining of uterus is called. Inner lining of uterus is called endometrium. You know very well endometrium. And the endometrial lining, which connect to the chorion layer. Coriol layer that is called decidua bacillus. Decidua bacillus here the decidua decidua bacillus and connect with the a outer layer of extra embryonic membrane is called chorion. So chorion which embedded into the decidua bacillus to form a finger like projection called chorionic villi. So here is the chorionic villi chorion and inner layer of the protoplast to form a this layer is called surrounded the embryo. Surrounded the embryo called amnion, or inside the amnion a fluid, fluid called amniotic fluid where the embryos floated, floating, and the third one, a, a another layer which connect to the embryo called allantois, and allantois the outside the, or hing region allantois a another membrane yolk sac develop. So these are the extra embryonic membrane which. Develop during embryonic development. So here is the development of the extra embryonic membrane and well as embryo, embryo. So chorionic villi later develop into the placenta. Placenta, you know the function of the placenta. I have already told you regarding the placenta, what the role and function. How so placenta? So human placenta is decidued type. So when the Birth occurs at a decidua discharge, in a blood rupture and discharge and heavy flow of the blood. So decidua placenta and also called chorio allantois placenta. So here the chorion as well as amniotic layer connected with the placenta. So thus it is called chorio allantois. Homo chorionis placenta. So epithelial tissue and connective tissue also involved of uterus also involved in. Formation of the placenta formation. This is called chorionic. So this is the type of placenta develop. So it is all about related to the uh, embryonic development through gastrulation and form the different germ layer and develop into the extra embryonic membrane and then it organogenesis takes place and formation of organs. So first organ, brain, then heart, then other parts, limbs develop. And whole organs develop that the embryo turn into fetus. So now the state of the or stage of the embryo is called fetus, where the primitive organs develop. It's come under the organogenesis process. So it will separate lecture. I will dis soon or discuss. So what happened in first week, second week, third week, twenty weeks. 30 weeks 40 weeks so how the changes or organ level changes takes place so it will discuss in the later classes so now it is okay here
सो इस ओके थैंक यू